Hello everyone, how are you doing today? Love, protected, and safe, I hope. Today's words of encouragement from God are about surrender. Surrendering yourself to the will of God and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The song and verse God has brought to me is this. You brought me blessings out of a tragedy. You turned my old song into a symphony. And with your spirit living inside of me, I'm a new creation. I'm a new creation. And now I know what you're talking about went from my head into my heart. When I was broken and at the bottom, I found you're my healer and redeemer. Jesus, that's who you are. So concerning these verses and the message of surrender to their will means this. Once you have been saved by God through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, you're now a new creation in them. Now you must surrender all of your old ways of living and live in their commands, laws, ways, words, and truth. This is their will for your eternal life in their kingdom. At this point, you must allow yourself to be transformed in your mind, renewed in their commands, laws, ways, words, and truth, living completely in their will for your life. You must let your old way of thinking and doing die in this world of sin. It is hard. It will not happen overnight. Do not beat yourself up for slipping because everyone falls short. The key is to learn from it. Pray for forgiveness for your sins. Repent of them, asking them to pull you through repentance of your sinful ways. It doesn't matter how slow you move forward with them. What matters is that you never stop moving forward with them. In time, it will get easier. Like everything else, practice makes it better and easier. You must put all things at their feet to let them carry it and you forward in your journey with them to eternal life in their kingdom. Now let's get into the scriptures. First is John 3, 28 through 36. You yourselves are my witnesses that I stated, I am not the Christ, the Messiah, the anointed, but I have only been sent ahead of him as his appointed forerunner and messenger to announce and proclaim his coming. He who has the bride is the bridegroom, but the friend of the bridegroom who stands by and listens to him rejoices greatly because of the bridegroom's voice. So this pleasure and joy of mine is now complete. He must increase in prominence, but I must decrease. He who comes from heaven is above all others. He who is of the earth is from the earth and speaks about things of the earth. His viewpoint and experiences are earthly. He who comes from heaven is above all. What he has actually seen and heard, of that he testifies, and yet no one accepts his testimony as true. Whoever receives his testimony has set his seal of approval to this. God is true, and he knows that God cannot lie. For he whom God has sent speaks the words of God, proclaiming the Father's own message. For God gives the gift of the Spirit without measure, generously and boundlessly. The Father loves the Son and has given and entrusted all things into his hand. He who believes and trusts in the Son and accepts him as Savior has eternal life, that is, already possesses it. But he who does not believe the Son and chooses to reject him, disobeying him and denying him as Savior, will not see eternal life, but instead the wrath of God hangs over him continually. To truly understand and abide in God and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ commands, laws, ways, words, and truth, we must let our will for our lives decrease to nothing while letting their will for our lives increase within us. This is the transformation to become more Christ-like and is convicted in us through the Holy Spirit that comes from them that lives inside of us after salvation. This is a process of surrendering our lives to their will for our lives. 1 Peter 5, 6-11 Therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God. Set aside self-righteous pride so that he may exalt you to a place of honor in his service at the appropriate time casting all your cares, all your anxieties, all your worries, and all your concerns once and for all on him, for he cares about you with deepest affection and watches over you very carefully. Be sober, well-balanced, and self-disciplined. Be alert and cautious at all times. That enemy of yours, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, fiercely hungry, seeking someone to devour. But resist him, be firm in your faith, against his attack, rooted, established, immovable, knowing that the same experiences of suffering are being experienced by your brothers and sisters throughout the world. You do not suffer alone. After you have suffered for a little while, the God of all grace, who imparts his blessings and favor, who calls you to his own eternal glory in Christ, will himself complete, confirm, strengthen, and establish you, making you what you ought to be. To him be dominion, power, authority, sovereignty, forever and ever. Amen. 
humbling yourself before them is surrendering to their will for your eternal life. Casting all concerns to them is surrendering to their will. This is allowing them to take your burdens upon themselves so that you can let them go to move forward with your path in them. Satan will always try to attack you with everything negative to keep you from being who God created you to be. So, resist Satan's temptation, fear, fears, worries, doubts, ill-mannered words, thoughts, and actions towards everything. Lean on God and Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior for all things and Satan will flee from you. Luke 9, 23 through 27. And he was saying to them all, If anyone wishes to follow me as my disciple, he must deny himself, set aside selfish interests, and take up his cross daily, expressing a willingness to endure whatever may come, and follow me, believing in me, conforming to my example in living, and if need be, suffering or perhaps dying because of faith in me. For whoever wishes to save his life in this world will eventually lose it through death. But whoever loses his life in this world for my sake he is the one who will save it from the consequences of sin and separation from God. For what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world, wealth, fame, success, and loses or forfeits himself? For whoever is ashamed here and now of me and my words, the Son of Man will be ashamed of him when he comes in his glory and the glory of the Heavenly Father and of the holy angels. But I tell you truthfully, there are some among those who standing here who will not taste death before they see the kingdom of God. You will suffer in this world, for Jesus' namesake, as this world is of Satan's sinning ways, and you are now walking against it. But never give in, never give up, you will make it through with them. The only true life is life with God and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, only attainable by salvation from God through Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior, and living in their commands, laws, ways, words, and truth, which means living completely in their will for your eternal life. James 4, 7-10 so submit to the authority of God, resist the devil, stand firm against him, and he will flee from you. Come close to God with a contrite heart, and he will come close to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your unfaithful hearts, you double-minded people. Be miserable and grieve and weep over your sin. Let your foolish laughter be turned to mourning, and your reckless joy to gloom. Humble yourselves with an attitude of repentance and insignificance. In the presence of the Lord, and He will exalt you, He will lift you up, He will give you a purpose. When you submit to the authority of God, you are surrendering your life and will for it to Him. This will allow you to resist Satan, bringing you closer to God and He to you when you have a heart of God. So let your joyful way of, of prideful living turn to sadness and despair, making you realize you have been living for Satan's sinning ways, which will turn into joy when God raises you up, giving you your purpose for your eternal life in their kingdom. Always be humble before God and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Romans 12, 1 and 2 Therefore I urge you, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies, dedicating all of yourselves, set apart as a living sacrifice, holy and well-pleasing to God, which is your rational, logical, intelligent act of worship. And do not be conformed to this world any longer with its superficial values and customs, but be transformed and progressively changed as you mature spiritually by the renewing of your mind, focusing on godly values and ethical attitudes, so that you may prove for yourselves what the will of God is, that which is good and accept acceptable and perfect in His plan and purpose for you. Dedicate all of your being to the will of God and Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior, as this is what is required to attain eternal life in their kingdom. This is the truest form of worship to them as you are now living completely in their will for your eternal life. Put to death your old way of thinking, talking, and living in accordance with this world's ways of sin. You will be transformed little by little as you focus on their commands, laws, ways, words, and truth in finding and walking in your purpose from God. Romans 3.23 Since all have sinned and continually fall short of the glory of God. John 10.10 10. The thief comes only in order to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it in abundance to the full till it overflows. Psalms 55.22 Cast your burden on the Lord, release it, and he will sustain and uphold you. He will never allow the righteous to be shaken, slip, fall, or fail. Matthew 11.30 For my yoke is easy to bear and my burden is light. Ephesians 2.8 For it is by grace, God's remarkable compassion and favor drawing you to Christ that you have been saved, actually delivered from judgment, and given eternal life through faith. 
And this salvation is not of yourselves, not through your own effort, but it is the undeserved gracious gift of God. John 16.33 I have told you these things, so that in me you may have perfect peace. In the world you will have tribu tribulation and distress and suffering. But be courageous, be confident, be undaunted, be filled with joy. I have overcome the world. My conquest is accomplished. My victory abiding. Ephesians 6, 14 through 18 and 23 and 24. So stand firm and hold your ground, having tightened the wide band of truth, personal integrity, moral courage around your waist, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness, an upright heart, and having strapped on your feet the gospel of peace in preparation to face the enemy with firm-footed stability and the readiness produced by the good news. Above all, lift up the protective shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. With all prayer and petition, pray with specific requests at all times on every occasion and in every season in the Spirit. And with this in view, stay alert with all perseverance and petition, interceding in prayer for all God's people. Peace be to the brothers and sisters, and love joined with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be with all who love our Lord Jesus Christ with undying and incorruptible love. You can clearly see just how to surrender your life to God and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You now know what you're gaining by letting go of your will for your life to live in their will for your eternal life in their kingdom. You know the consequences for disobedience to their commands, laws, ways, words, and truth. You know just how much they love and care for you by allowing us the chance at eternal life in their kingdom when we abide in their will for our paths with them. So never give in, never give up. You are more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus, and your vindication comes from the Lord, your God. Remember, God, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, the Holy Spirit, the angels, and I love you all without question or reservation. May God's love, peace, grace, blessings, joy, mercy, understanding, compassion, caring, kindness, patience, wisdom, protection, guidance, glory, goodness, corrections, truth and trust, favor and anointing, faithfulness and steadfastness, forgiveness and salvation, strength, endurance, clarity, courage, calm in every situation, and everything good of them always be with you, guiding you through. Have a blessed day in God and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I love you all, and I'll see you later.